Birch is an absolutely wonderful material for fire starting. I personally prefer yellow birch over gray birch for it, but there's a lot of gray birch in my area. So understanding how to process this appropriately is important. One way we could gather the birch bark is to find a downed tree. Now there's a lot of downed trees down through here. What you want to remember though is with any natural material, if it's too rotted or too damp, it's not going to work too well. So in this case, the tree just fell down on its own. I could take my knife and slice up the bark and then just peel that bark back very easily and use this to start my fire. The last way of collecting this material is actually removing the bark from the tree. Now this will kill the tree, so it's important to take that in consideration. I already went ahead and rung this tree a few times for some projects. I'm ultimately going to cut this tree down. So that's how we're gonna harvest our bark today. All you're gonna do for this process in the springtime like this is take your knife and just slice down the bark and then just get it that it starts to peel. Just like that. And pull that right off the tree. Now we can take this piece, process it, and begin our fire. Processing this bark is a simple process. We wanna either take a sharp edge of our knife, so I'm using the spine, or you can use your blade if you want. I think it's a little bit more preferred to use the spine though, just not wasting that resource of that blade. I like to drag this towards me. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm removing this outer bark. You just wanna be careful because you don't want that to blow away as you're scraping it. And I'm really digging in pretty good. I'm starting to get a good amount removed. I'm not just scraping that white. You could see some of that inner bark's also coming along with that. So I'm just gonna scrape down along here and get a nice pile of material. Once we have our shavings, we could go ahead and take our ferrocerium rod and strike down into that. And see that with one good spark, that bark is lit. It's a very easy process. And that's how you process birch bark. It's easy, it's simple, it's another tool for your toolbox. And in my case, that's way more prevalent than that yellow birch that I really, really like. So it's just about everywhere that we go in my specific region. So give it a shot if it's around, try it out. I know you'll like it. It's a great fire starting method. It's good even in wet conditions because the oils in that bark somewhat waterproof it. So this was Dan Wolak with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods.